Let's get on to the wide receiver side of things here. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> that means, oh, let's do it, I think. is mm. It's All a right. song. All right, oh, let's, let's do it. Let's start off with one, oh, of, me and, <laughs> one of me and Big Co's <laughs> favorite guys who has habitually not gotten respect and certainly isn't getting any more respect this year. Jordan Matthews coming in at 155. I know there's no chance that I'm off of this guy. There's no way that you're off of this guy. I think he just needs a chance. And he's probably going to get his chance here to go somewhere else and, and do something. I think he's a good player if he can if he can get his slot roll back. Well, there's not many places that wide receivers go to die worse than Buffalo. Okay, this is true. So for Sammy Watkins to take out and Jordan and, and my boy Bobby Woods leaves Buffalo last year, the last person I wanted to see go in there and fill those voids of not getting the ball thrown to him is my boy Jordan Matthews. Like he could have gone anywhere else. I mean, you know, he's nicked up and hurt anyway, so it really didn't matter. But come well, that's on, the man. issue here. Not to Buffalo. So I don't like, think the issue is anywhere he is. If, is oh, the can he get is on buff, the, the freaking field? Buffalo. Can he get on the field and stay on the field? At one fifty five, gimme him because yeah, me too, if, all day long. If the resurgence that Jordan Matthews could have when if he's back on the field and healthy, he is a six foot three NFL wide receiver. He is a he he slot wide receiver. Whatever. That slot wide receiver means catches and six foot three. I don't means really lots care. I was just, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. care. It doesn't matter if he's slot or not to me. I, I'm I'm taking Jordan Matthews at one fifty five. And and, I, I, and most of these guys we've been talking about, I look around and pick somebody else. I can pick them out of the and and you know within five or six picks up or down and say, oh, I'd rather have this guy. But at one fifty five, give me Jordan Matthews. Yeah, me too. He's he's a guy who will probably be on a lot of my teams in startups this year and what have you just got be lose? hanging around. That's what I'm saying. I, we've seen him be really productive. He's he's put up some of the better numbers early on in a season than anyone ever, yeah. I'm pretty sure. And I'll, I'll take that all the day. He's just going to be hanging around. He's got no respect. Nobody wants anything to do with him. I'll, I'll give me he'll, He's going to be a guy who ends up on my roster a, more times than not in a, in a startup. Absolutely. Can't really argue with it. I mean, he, you've seen him be really good and – Guys can get healthy. We just saw Keenan Allen get healthy. Like guys can get over. Marvin Jones it is just Marvin them. Jones just went sixteen games and became a wide receiver one. I mean, like he well, he, he had like one thing wrong. He's just a foot all the time with Marvin Jones. But uh, he was hurt and he got hardly any respect. And Jordan Matthews has got more of a Keenan but like, Allen spread of. But like Casey was saying, like in the first two years of injuries on in, his, in his first two seasons, it was Amari Cooper had caught the ball more than him in his first two years in the league, and then and then. Um, uh, Odell came through and did it. So, I mean, there's been a lot of young rookies catching balls lately. But Jordan Matthews, he it wasn't a high-octane Chip Kelly offense in, in Philly, but he had to run around and he had to catch the ball, and he was crushing it. And he'd just been nicked up lately, and Buffalo didn't help out anything. So, I mean, to at me – At 155, it's worth it at this to point, me, for sure. That's like, with you. that's like a Christmas present, man. At 155, it could be absolutely awesome. And if you whiff on it, I mean, you could also take – you know, theoretic right there and, and not be able to plug him in all year long. Right. So, until something, somebody goes until down, Until somebody gets hurt in front of him, especially if they sign Dion Lewis. Yeah. I mean, four spots behind him is Muhammad Sanu. I mean, I love Sanu as a gamer and he's a great player for the Falcons, but unless Julio Jones gets hurt and Sanu's unstartable every single week, uh, he, was, he was usable. He was year. usable sometimes at home. He was a home, home field insert, but he wasn't a sexy play by any means, but if you needed a dude, Hold down your your spot for a second. You could use Sanu. He, there's he nobody, gets totally there's nobody like guys that like Ma- Muhammad Sanu that I like playing against worse on a week to week basis. When you're playing the guy and you're he like, he plugs, in, he, ah, he plugs yeah. in Sanu and you're like, you're in the back yeah. of your mind, you're like, yeah, he plugged in Sanu. But then it's like every time somebody plays a guy like that against me, he burns me. He I thought you meant if you punch him and in the he face. throws a yeah. touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant if you were a defender, this is a guy because he's such a lunch pat, lunch pat, lunch pail and hard hat guy. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to guard Sanu. Yeah. <laughs> no. 